Hey everybody and welcome back to the cave. We are now on the monk special level. So let's check it out. To a mind at peace, the lightest of things can be the heaviest. Interesting. So what have we got up here? If I remember correctly, there's a giant beam up here. Last playthrough. Yes. So, what is my ability? Oh, here we go. Let's go to the monastery. Is that what we're going to? We are now approaching the misty, snow capped peaks the monk desires to call home. A sequestered haven of austerity and mental rigor where entire lives are spent in the pursuit of becoming one with the world. Of course, our telekinetically inclined friend is not quite so ambitious. He'll be happy enough simply being the one in charge, no matter what it takes. Oh, so we want power. Welcome, young apprentice. You have come far, yet your mind is not at peace. To achieve enlightenment, you must pass the four trials of Zenness. Take this and begin your journey. Let your opinion of yourself grow too great. Remember this always. A single feather outweighs all mankind. Isaac Newton was down here once. I'm pretty sure he would call that scientifically inaccurate. Yeah, probably. Alright. Where are we going? Are we going down? <laughs> oh, there's something down there. Okay, so am I going back and putting the feather That down? was quite a climb just to grab a feather and turn right back around. I think it's a Zen thing. You know, the journey to enlightenment is more arduous than any mountain path. That sort of crap. Mountain paths are still pretty arduous, though. Got a feather that's heavier than mankind, and somehow we are able to hold it in our hand. So let's put that feather on that bridge, and I'm guessing it will break. Still got the hot dog. Okay. Drop the feather, man. Uh -uh. Or not. Oh, there we go. Our enlightenment seeking trio has completed the first trial of Zenness which I'm fairly confident is not actually a word. I'm a bit behind the technological curve down here. You know, no spell check. Okay, I don't know why there was a giant monkey head right there. Guess we will find out. Impatient thoughts are as petals scattered to the winds. Lotus blossoms. Oh, yeah, we've got to walk. Okay. So 
slowly. Oh, not when the wind is going. Got it. Dang it. I'm guessing that's what it is. Hey. to go when the wind is coming? Just real slowly. Okay, I guess we just gotta take a couple steps at a time. No. Jerk. Like I said, not to. Wait for the wind. Okay. Good. Slowly but surely. Be one with the Zen. flowers. I will be very angry with you if you do. Oh, come on. Now I'm going to be really sad if it, if they blow away. Oh, that seemed like it was close. Jeez, how long is this hallway? Thought we would almost be there. Okay. Oh. No! Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, so apparently if you hold shift, you can walk. And then you just turn around when it starts to blow. That makes it a lot easier than what I was doing. Never knew you could walk. Well, I never had any reason to, I guess. But yeah, just so you guys know, that will make it a lot easier if you hold shift. There we go. Almost there. I don't know why this jerk would leave the window open. No! Are you kidding me? Close that window. There, I should have just done that in the first place. Well, maybe you don't even have to walk. Maybe you just have to go close the window. And then walk. Oh, did the window open again? Uh. Okay, never mind. But I think you're supposed to close the window once you can see it. It's okay, our zen is getting there. Okay, now close the window. No! There. We made it. The monk has completed the second awesome. trial of zenness. He seems to be tackling these challenges in good faith and the proper spirit of calm. Of course, still waters run deep, and very, very dark. Okay, well... An ordered mind seeks equilibrium in all things. A sloppy mind just uses the internet. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny, because if you guys are watching this, you're probably... taking the advice for this sign. Am I really supposed to go to that website? Great. Four gallon empty jug and seven gallon empty jug. Okay. Pool of water. Okay. I don't want 
have seven gallons there. Oh, hey. So what's that drainage grate? That drains the whole thing. Maybe I could just drain one gallon out or something. But nope, apparently not. I'm gonna go check monkpuzzle.com and see what that's all about. Okay, I actually went to monkpuzzle.com and it's just literally the answer. But I didn't read all of it. So I'm still gonna try to figure this out on my own. So apparently though, you have to empty the jugs into each other somehow create six. So we have seven gallons of water and we poured it in here. We now have four. Four gallons of water. We should have also three gallons of water. Okay. So it said something about pouring this out now. But I don't know. We have four. And we can fill this up. But um, no, 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 no. Let's do this. We have four gallons of water. And now, if we pour this in, we'll have three gallons of water. Okay. Now we have seven gallons of water. because he only filled one gallon. Let it be known that the cave does not approve of using external sources to circumvent official tests of skill and intellect. So I'll just give them the benefit of the doubt on this one. In any case, that's trial number three complete, technically. Hey, I didn't read the guide. I just glanced at it. I guess they knew people would get frustrated with that one. <laughs> Rising anger. Oh, well, I think that's what these trials are designed to do, make you angry. <laughs> 
path to enlightenment is a journey of peace and a stillness of the mind. Okay. What? Okay. Do I need to bring these guys up too? Maybe. There's three rugs. Haven't even needed them at all so far. Let's try it. Come on, knight. Bring your hot dog. Up we go. Oh, oh crap. We just got crushed to death by an elevator. Now we have to run back. Dang it. I don't know why that elevator came back down. I guess it was just trying to help me out, but it killed me instead. Yep, all three of us. is going to get the next one, and the knight is going to get the sword. Let's try that again, shall we?
this time, we're gonna win. We got this. And go. Good job. Gotta remember what buttons everybody is. right? Pathing on man's journey of peace and stillness of the mind. We just need to go step on that bridge. It's all a trick. I think. of desire up there. Just stay completely still. Don't do anything. Because it does say stillness of mind. Okay. We're not even gonna move. Everybody just stay completely still. I don't care if there's distractions. Meditating. Like that monkey back there. right in the middle of the screen and it's bugging me. That's okay. Because we have stillness of mind. Let's just hope it pays off. 
deepest desires there can seem go. so real, so crucial, awesome. can't they? But in the end, just like everything else, their glimmer fades. Surely the most worthwhile goal is acceptance of one's place in the universe. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, I think these Zen guys are rubbing off on me. Well, that's all four trials. Enjoy the fruits of enlightenment. Okay, I will. Only in meditation does one get in the fullest view of the world. Okay. Well, let's meditate. Suits have but one inevitable end. Destruction. It was so serious that there wasn't even a subtitle for it. Dang. There we go. Alright, monk. It's your time to shine. After this. The dragon attacks. Yeah, we already lived through that. We did it, Master. We got our Zenness on. Now what? Hey, are you there? Master? supposed to go have an idea and it's definitely murderous does everybody murder somebody I think we all murder somebody I think I need to get rid of those support beams because I think I know the twins murder somebody the adventurer murders somebody the monk's about to murder somebody the knight gets somebody killed Hillbilly sets people on fire. Here we go. Poor master. Remember this, apprentice. Your worst enemy cannot harm you as much as your own unguarded thoughts. I guess we need to go up there now. Did a little out of order. Yeah, I guess the moral of the story is everybody will commit murder to get what they want. Crazy. I see you understand what it is to be at peace with yourself. But be warned, a true Zen master is also at peace with the world. Oh, man. This is going to hurt. Yeah, I don't think that's the orthodox method for obtaining this particular position in the temple. But what do I know? I never passed comparative religion. 
Do you suppose the monk's companions knew what he was up to? Do you suppose he himself knew? Or was he acting out the only path he had? I have my own thoughts on the matter, and I've had more than a few millennia to weigh it over. But I'll let you reach your own conclusions. Our friend the monk's tale is nearly at an end. Well, that was the monk special level, everybody. Only got one more to go. The scientist. So, I'm gonna finish up this playthrough and I'll be back with the scientist. Hope this video was helpful for some of you. Here's a cave painting. Deadly, deadly dynamite. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.